Pedigree charts are a fun and exciting way to learn about genetics and the inheritance of traits. They are also a valuable tool for scientists and healthcare professionals to study the pattern of genetic diseases and conditions. What are pedigree charts? A pedigree chart is a diagram that shows the genetic relationships between family members over multiple generations. It uses standardized symbols and lines to depict the presence or absence of a specific trait, genetic disorder, or condition. Homozygous individuals are represented in pedigree charts with a symbol that has either full shading or no shading. Full shading indicates that the individual has two copies of the dominant allele, while no shading indicates that the individual has two copies of the recessive allele. Heterozygous individuals are represented in pedigree charts with a symbol that has half a shading. This indicates that they have one copy of the dominant allele and one copy of the recessive allele. How are pedigree charts used? Pedigree charts have many important uses, including genetic counseling. Genetic counselors use pedigree charts to assess the risk of genetic disorders in families. This information can help individuals and couples make informed family planning decisions. Next, medical diagnosis. Pedigree charts can help doctors diagnose genetic conditions, track their progression, and determine appropriate treatments or management strategies. Research. Scientists use pedigree charts to study the inheritance patterns of traits or diseases. This information can lead to a better understanding of their underlying genetic mechanisms and the development of new genetic tests and treatments. Finally, selective breeding. In agriculture and animal husbandry, pedigree charts are used to select breeding pairs to enhance desirable traits and minimize genetic disorders. Different types of pedigree charts. There are three main types of pedigree charts. First one, autosomal dominant inheritance. In autosomal dominant inheritance, affected individuals have one copy of the dominant allele, gene variant, and one copy of the recessive allele. The dominant allele is always expressed, even if only one copy exists. Two. Autosomal recessive inheritance. In autosomal recessive inheritance, affected individuals have two copies of the recessive allele. Carriers of the trait have one copy of the dominant allele and one copy of the recessive allele. Carriers cannot express the trait but can pass it on to their children. 3. X linked inheritance. The gene that causes the trait is located on the X chromosome. Males have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome, while females have two X chromosomes. Males who inherit their recessive allele on their X chromosome will express the trait, while females who inherit the recessive allele on one X chromosome will be carriers. Punnett squares can calculate the probability of offsprings inheriting a specific trait based on parents' genotype. To do this, we first need to identify the parents' genotypes. This can be done by looking at the pedigree chart and determining whether they are affected by the trait, carrier of the trait, or unaffected. Once we know the parents' genotypes, we can create a Punnett square to show all the possible genotypes of the offspring. The Punnett square is divided into four boxes, each representing a possible offspring genotype. The two top boxes represent the genotype of the mother, and the left two boxes represent the genotype of the father. The four smaller boxes in the middle of the Punnett square represent all the possible genotypes for the offspring. Example. To determine the probability of an offspring inheriting a specific trait, we simply count the number of boxes in the Punnett square to represent the genotype for the trait. For example, Considering autosomal dominant inheritance, we would count the number of boxes representing the dominant allele. The probability of an offspring inheriting the trait is equal to the number of boxes that represent the trait divided by the total number of boxes in the Punnett square. This is a pedigree chart showing autosomal dominant inheritance of Huntington's disease.
and this is the Punnett square for it. As you can see, there is a 50% chance that each offspring will inherit their Huntington's disease gene from their father. Example 2. Autosomal recessive inheritance. Consider a family with a history of cystic fibrosis, an autosomal recessive disorder. The pedigree chart below shows that both parents are carriers of the cystic fibrosis gene, but they are not affected by the disorder. The Punnett square below shows the possible genotypes of the offspring. As you can see, there is a 25% chance that each offspring will inherit two copies of the cystic fibrosis gene and be affected by the disorder. A 25% chance that they will inherit no copies of the cystic fibrosis gene and be unaffected and a 50% chance that they will inherit one copy of the cystic fibrosis gene and be a carrier. Stay curious and thank you for watching!